Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In this video, we'll be talking about how to properly enter chemical expressions into your calculator so you're getting the right answer. On the left side, left hand side here, I have five chemical expressions and we're gonna go through entering this in the Google calculator that you can see on the right hand side and we'll see how to, and see what the answer should be. In addition, I'll be showing you how these buttons correlate with the buttons on two commonly used calculators. The first one's the TI-84 C plus CE, and then the second one is, is this one. So let's get started. The first one to get to enter this, we would do three multiplied by, there's two ways you can enter this. You could put in a parenthesis, five divided by six into parentheses, and you'll get 2.5. Or you can also enter it like this. You can do three multiplied by five, and then divide by six without the parentheses, and you'll still get 2.5. So if you were using a, a TI-84 plus CE, you, the parentheses are these two buttons right here. And if you're using the other calculator, then you see the parentheses right here. Okay, let's move on to the next expression. So this next one, we have the grams, so we're trying to solve for the atoms. We first go 15. Multiplying by one over is the same thing as dividing, so we can just do divide 12.01 and then multiply by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. The best way to enter this whenever you have times 10 to the power, okay, let's first enter the 6.022, and then to get the 10 to the power, you can just type E and then 23rd. And then that'll give us 7.52 7 times 10 to the 23rd. So how do we enter the E on the TI-84 plus CE, well, you first have to click second and then click the comma and they'll give you the, the EE or, uh, but when you enter, you'll just see one E. And how do you get the EE or the E on the other calculator? You just click second and click the X to negative one and they'll bring up the E or the EE. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So in the next one, you're gonna see this, this expression um, when you're in the gas law section and you're doing combined gas laws. So we'll first, any on the numbers on top, we'll just multiply them together. And you can use the parentheses if you want, but you, you don't have to. Well, I'll show you both cases. So without the parentheses, 1.2 times five times 273. And then on the bottom, you you should use the parentheses because if you don't and you enter it, then you're gonna get the wrong number. So you use parentheses eight times 10. And then that'll give us 20.45. So that's one option you can do. Um, just the numbers on top, you don't need to use parentheses, but when you're multiplying the numbers on the bottom, you have to enclose them into parentheses before you put multiply. It. But the other way that you can enter this is you can do 1.2 times 5 times 273, and then you can just divide by 8, and then you can also divide by 10. So if you don't want to use parentheses, if it's numbers on bottom, just div divide by those numbers. So divide by 8 and also divide by 10, and you still get the 20.475. Next expression, we have this this function ln, so to enter it, we do negative 8.3145 times 298 times ln of 5.7. And then again, we have that times 10 to the power, so we can just use the e negative 30. And then we should get this number 166842. Um, so how do we, enter? There's, there's two things I wanna talk about here. How do we get the enter the ln and how do we enter the negative? So let's talk about the, um, let's first take a look at this TI-84. To enter the ln, you would just use, you just click this number right here, you can see it's ln. And then when you wanna enter a negative number, you wanna click this button right here, the parentheses and negative. You don't wanna click the minus sign because if you enter the minus sign, you're actually gonna get a syntax error. Now on the other calculator, to enter the ln, you click this button here, and then to get the negative, you would click this button down here. Okay, now the last one. This is actually the inverse of this expression up here, so we enter this correctly into the calculator. We should get the 5.7 times 10 to negative 30. To start, we'll click E and raise to the power, and we have this uh, fraction in here, so I'm gonna enclose this in, in the parentheses and start with the negative, one six six eight four two and we have two numbers on the bottom of the fraction and this is here 
this is where we can use another parentheses and close the bottom, or we can just, just do a double division. So then we'll divide 8.3145 and also divide by 298. And we get the 5.7 times 10 to the negative 30. So we know we did this correctly because it matched up with that. So how do we enter E um, on this calculator? We can just click second and then click the LN. So when you click second and LN, you're going to activate the E raised to the power. It actually takes care of the raised to the power part, so you don't have to worry about that. And then also on the other calculator, you'll just click, you'll click the second ln again and then they'll activate what's in bl in the blue right here which is e raised to power so both these calculator takes care of the raised to the power but if you need to enter raised to the power for anything you would just click the, this carrot looking this roof looking button right here that and this one right here if you want to learn how to ace chemistry if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going you're gonna to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.